ask me, you're lucky she's even offering you visitation rights because you don't deserve them. Yeah, but that's really hilarious to me because no one asked you. You're just her side piece or whatever you are. I'm still her husband. Nobody asked for your opinion. Junior's in the next room. I don't want fighting in this house. Yeah, you're still married on paper, but that doesn't mean anything. I've done more for her in the last three months than you have your entire marriage for her. But you bought her a few dinners. You drove her to work a few times. Congrats. You're on the same level as her mommy. I've been with her for years, bro. You, you can't compete with me at this point. You act like you're the world's best husband because you paid her bills for a couple of years. But everything falls by the wayside when you cheat on her. You're saying the same shit everyone else says to me, bro. Get something original. Get something new to say to me. Okay, I've heard it a million times. Where'd you come up with that? When you were sitting at the table with your little girlfriends in the morning like you're on The View? You better watch what you say to me. Brian, please don't instigate anything, please. Who's instigating who though, Miranda? <laughs> Asking her, right? Hey, if anyone's instigating anyone, it's you. You're in my house. You're the one coming at me right now. No one, no one asked you to be here. Yeah. From what I heard from her, this house belonged to your mother until she gave that house to your wife. This house oh, belongs to your wife. Oh, he got a singer right? on me. He got one. He got one on me, Miranda. What you act? You act like you're tough because you know about cars and you. Oh, I talk with a big, tough voice. I'm a big, tough... You know what? All right, maybe the house don't belong to me, but you know what does belong to me? The baby in her belly. How about that, bitch? Is he telling the truth? Are you pregnant just like I thought? Yes, Brian. I'm pregnant with his baby. I wish you would have told me that, Miranda. I wish you would have told me that he was going to be an absentee father to two kids now. Nah, I'm going to see my kid. I'm going to get what I want. Don't mistake me for being a deadbeat dad just because I walked out on this house. I walked out on her. I didn't want to walk out on my son. And I'm never going to walk out on him again. I'm going to see him three days out of the week. And if you don't like that, I'm going to take you to court. And because I'm going to see him, whether you like it or not, I will fight hell or high water just to prove this bitch wrong. Just to make you pissed off. Just to make your life a living hell while you're rubbing her feet while I'm still married to her. And you're just salty and making these kid comments because you're infertile and you can't have kids. So you can't be there for anyone because your kids don't exist. How's that feel? Huh? Yeah, maybe you're right. But at the end of the day, I love her. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Cringe. Tell her you love her. Go ahead. Buy her dinner, drive her to work, buy her flowers, be that little shoulder to cry on, be the, the nice knight in shining armor that you think I'm not. But you know in your heart that she loves me. And you know in your heart she's always going to come back to me. And not because I'm the father of her baby, not because I asked her to marry me, not because she can't think for herself or she's insecure or something like that, no. Because she knows how much I love her. She knows that for every mistake I make, every job I lose, every bit of money I mess up, everything I do behind someone's back, every law I break, it's because I love her. And I'm not fake with it. I'm authentic with my, I'm real. I don't have to pretend I'm some macho man or, or, or I'm some good guy from One Tree Hill. <sighs> There's something that, that you don't do that I do. I make her feel alive. I make her, her understand that there's a man out there that would do absolutely anything to make her happy. Even if I mess up half the time. You on the other hand, bro, your girlfriend died, so you're just trying to replace her, right? Wait, that's enough. You don't cross the line like that. You shut your mouth. Oh, come on, baby. Don't act like I'm saying something that's not true. You know that's true. This man's woman died a few months ago. You think suddenly he's head over heels for you and he's done grieving and that he loves you? You're sticking up for him over me? I'm sticking up for him right now. After everything you put me through, I am sticking up for him right now. I don't know how you can stick up for this dude over me. The father of your baby, the man who married you. Okay, yeah, but what, because I cheated on you when I left you? Because I was pissed off at you? I know how I make you feel. I know the bond we have. You understand me? I, I, I've seen you in ways that no one else has seen. I know what you really feel about me. I know that you can't leave me, and I can't leave you. 
We are destined to be together, Miranda. We have something other people can't understand. We have something people call toxic, but that's not it. You know I love you. So how can you stand there and say these things to me in front of this nobody? Because you act like I'm some piece of clay that you can mold into whatever you like and you can just abuse in any way that you like and keep running back to me. Well, you can't anymore because I hate you. You don't mean that. When you abandoned me, I closed the book on us and I was fine. And I wanted it to stay that way. Alright, then I'm out. You don't have to hear from me again. See if this man can take care of you in your pregnancy. See if this man can help you raise my baby.